come in sectors. Most these niggas burgers and they come with light letters. Tear it through the paper, I don't even need a shredder. Switch cheese a nigga if he playing with my cheddar. Leave them on my own, don't compare me to no rapper. They keep trying to trick. Difference is I do it better. Ooh, buddy diamonds hit like Michael Jordan. Fade away. Yesterday I didn't come outside. I got on jet today. Everything I got. I'm we back, we back. Back like a motherfucker, man. Yeah. God Been damn. A minute. No homo, I might bitch y'all niggas a little bit. <laughs> That's crazy. A, a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. No I homo, pause. No, no, no. I miss y'all, though. I fucked uh, with y'all. You see how our niggas be playing? They miss y'all, but they don't yesterday. miss their mans, bro. I just talked to you yesterday. Niggas be too masculine for me, man. I, I literally yeah. just talked to you. I, 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 I literally just talked to you, bro. I ain't know how to answer that. I ain't seen y'all since the show, bro. That's cap. They got this. Show was crazy. I was in that bitch on that too, so. Bro, I got yeah, a confession. It was good vibes. I got, I got a real confession, bro. I was so in my vibe. Awesome shrooms in there. You bro. was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even understand what was going on for a second. Like, nigga, when I see some of the pictures, I'm like, damn, I was standing in front of the stage. Like, I got about to jump off that bitch. No, the twerk contest. Y'all niggas was right there, like. <laughs> like, I had no sense. Why feel like. Why the fuck was you recording this? I'm like, <laughs> shit, I was getting the crowd. I don't know I was shit. Getting the crowd. She ain't even doing shit. I'm like, bro, I, I wouldn't even own that. Bro, content for the pod is always your excuse, bro. From here on out. <laughs> Say it on the pod. <laughs> Say it on the pod. Yeah. This is content. <laughs> I mean, we can cut it. Man, <laughs> nah, we control this shit. No, nah, but that was a great show, though, bro. You brought the whole fucking city. How that shit feel? It was just you. Man, it felt okay. good, bro. It, what really felt good is, bro, it was so many different people in there, bro. Like, yeah, I brought us out, but I brought, it was people there from all over. I'm not going to say it was just me, but, of course, Sada was on the show. But people from everywhere, man. A girl hit me up from Adrian. Yeah. A girl from Toledo DM me and all that type of shit. Like, good show. Like, bro, it was just crazy how many uh, different people. One thing for sure, he came. bring the white people out. Yeah, no, nah, for real. Uh, did you have some? You had yeah. the white hair. Man, it was a yeah, session with Sada was on stage. It was like a white girl twerking on like the little. Them the ones that don't give a fuck about the price. Yeah. So, Medesco. <laughs> <laughs> Medesco <laughs> finest. <laughs> no, it was dope, bro. It was a great vibe, bro. I, I, that was the sh- my first time hosting something like that. And uh, a lot of people gave my flowers on the hosting tip. So, bro, it, it felt good, bro. Shit, I felt like I was a part of it. You was. You was there. You was on yeah, stage. Yeah, I I can remember. Get off that dime, Julio. Echo Julio. I just wish I could remember. Bro, nah, you remember when nigga got a drink? Bro, chill. Remember niggas just grabbing drinks from this nigga? Bro, bye, dog. Hey, don't even. That's my man's, bro. (laughs) (laughs) We're not going to talk about it. Niggas riding the boat on the side. Yeah, nigga did drive the boat. It was crazy. On the side of the stage, I said, hey, yo. That nigga Mo looked at me, I'm like, uh, as drunk as we was, I remember that part of the night. Nigga driving a boat. Man. No, he drove the boat himself, but it was just like, nigga, get a cup. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? All I said, I, 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 I ain't driving his boat. <laughs> no, no sir. no sir, no sir, bro, no sir. You know him too. I tell you after the show. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is my man's though, man. man we back, it was a good man. time, man. We back, man. We got a special, special guest. Man, this dude doing big things around D- Detroit, Chicago, the world. Um, he Bill not a, he nominated for an award right now. The mogul, mogul's in the making. Yeah, mogul's in the making. He has a hit show called The Cold all over Instagram. I'm sure y'all seen it. I've been trying to get on there. I think I might be cool enough now. We trying to figure it out. But y'all made some noise for my boy Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my money. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> <laughs> hey, boy, hey. Dude, I swear to God, I think that's about one of the hey. funniest things for no God, reason, no. bro. <laughs> nah, the, the, first, the first video I seen, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, bro, what the fuck going on? So it went on. I'm like, what the fuck was that? So I watched another one, and I'm like, oh. I took it to wifey. I'm like, we should do it to one of the kids. She was like, cash or cam? I was like, cash. She was like, nope. She going to be pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> no, that shit got a funny, though, man. What's up, though, bro? How you doing? I'm good, bro. I appreciate you having me on here, man. Yeah, I like, I like, I, I'm always the one doing the content, so I be doing all the work. So it's cool to just be able to. I was just saying to show up 
and like do Watch the work the and then go home instead of having being being left being with there, all the yeah do all the shit afterwards. I understand completely. How did you start the code? Uh, so I was interviewing people for a long time. Like I go downtown with my boys with my microphone and camera and just ask people silly questions and stuff like that, and it got cold outside. So I'm like, damn, like I'm not about to go to the mall and do this. Look like the little yeah. know, YouTubers and shit. So I um we started interviewing people one on one. It was me and my best friend we used to live together in our living room. Okay. And I'm like, this kind of like a lot of work for just one person. So what if we, me and my boy just sitting there thinking, what if we interview like 15 people at the same time? So we had a bunch of people. I didn't know that shit was going to work. I texted like 25 of the funniest dudes I knew. And I was like, hey, pull up to my house this day. Um, you come at this time, you come at this time, you come at this time. And we filmed it all in one day and it worked out. So we just kept doing it. And I just, it, it, it became a brand on its own, but it was really just supposed to be like a one time thing. Wow, that's yeah. dope. That should remind me of one of them shows. What show was that on MTV? Uh, damn, it was one of them old MTV shows. You 28, so you should be not. You trying to call me old. No, <laughs> no I'm trying to play before the mic came on. He told my lady like 40. He's like, damn, y'all old as hell. <laughs> damn, what's that shit called? But it was a show pretty much like that where they asked questions like that. And that shit died. Oh, shit. Nickelodeon? What was it did you say Nick? I, did no, you I said MTV. MTV, oh. It was MTV. I just seen um, Big Jungle post a uh, clip from the code this uh, earlier today. He had sent it to my DM. Yeah, he uh, he hit a hundred thousand views uh, last week on his clip. Oh, it was yeah this week. Yeah, that's, hard. Hey, yeah. that's, cold. that's hard. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. First time yeah. since I created the new page. Like it's, that's it's dope. Shit crazy. Damn. So how that shit feel? Like how if niggas want to get on that shit now? Like what would they have to do? Audition. Yeah, that, that. I uh, which is we gonna start right now. When it's August the twenty fifth. You said we gonna start right now? I was saying we can audition right now if we want to. <laughs> Shit, basically, I mean, oh, this right, is what right. auditions gonna be like. It's just a, it's one big ass conversation. Uh, I decided to do auditions because man, people on the internet they paint a picture, but like when you meet them in person, it'd be a whole different person. Man. But I'd have had the most man, so lit people on the gram to me pull up on my set, and I'd be in the car with my girl or something after we shoot, like. She's never coming back. <laughs> but, but on the gram, she might be my favorite rapper or he might be my favorite content creator. It's not the same in person. So I it just want to do it. Bro, it's so crazy. Glad, and then, like, bro. the people who reach out, it'd be all type of people, like, they'd be like, can we come on a pod? For what? Yeah, like, bro. What do you do besides <laughs> get up and go to work every day and take care of your kids? They don't even be knowing they socially awkward. At yeah. all. Yeah. Like, uh, the craziest part when people ask me and they're like, yo, can we get on the pod? And I'm like, damn, bro, we just dropped this man, clip. That like, should be crazy. Three bro. months we ago. Like, three months ago. like that, bro. And it'd be like, yeah. What do you do? I mean, the first thing is like, I'm like, what you gonna say? And I'm like, bro, and mentally, we already dropped the clip. Like, you can't say, oh, we're gonna pop our shit. Like us. That's we're what they be like, saying, bro. Like I'm gonna us. pop my shit. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, my nigga. And so we had this clip, and it said, like, don't come on here talking about you gonna pop your shit. Or uh, I got shit to say. Uh, and that's what everybody's saying. And then when we ask them more questions in person, they ain't got nothing to say. Like, you never got nothing to say in person, but you want to get on the phone. I ain't going to say no names. We, we had, we had one. And half the time, here, people bro. freeze up on the camera. And it was just like us three was on here the whole yeah. time. Oh, man. Just sitting the whole time, like, not talking? Chilling. Pretty much. I didn't I did interview oh, people like bro, that. Hey, yeah, it don't, even, it, don't yeah. Even, it don't even, like, you look at his shit, like, it don't even seem like he be like that. I don't know what it is, bro. <laughs> people just get in front of that camera and it be different or something. That camera fuck you up through all them lights. Like, I'll be honest. I get, not anymore. But when I first started filming my show, when I used to sit in that hot seat, I'm like, oh, damn. Like, yeah. this is my shit, and I'm nervous. Yeah, sure like, I say my palms right shit. shit. Yeah, it get like that with the camera. So it's like some of the typical questions. Like, where you get your questions from? Um, I, I usually create them the night before I shoot. <laughs> oh, shit. I come up with topics. I come up with, like, 10 topics at the end. The actual questions I'm going to ask, I just write them out. But it, the topics be stuff we, we all be going through. Like... We all millennials, you know, just just everything that we be going through. A lot of the stuff that people don't be talking about. So if you if you was to do ten people in a day, right? You go mm-hmm. ahead, you filming an episode today. You got ten people coming. Are you asking all ten of them, yeah. ten of them people the same questions, or are you like you got different questions for different people? Same exact interview for everybody. Okay, and then yeah. you take pretty much who had the best answers, or you let people post their own clips. How did that go? No, I uh, I control everything. Okay, I, once you do your interview, I. I'll clip what I think is actually funny because okay. the whole nobody's whole interview is just gonna have you right laughing. But uh, no, I just yeah, like you just said, the the, the best parts I clip those, and uh, some people don't make the cut. Some episodes, 
Like I'll be watching that shit. Oh, they I, just, I just shit. have to hit delete on it. Hey, bro, where my clip at? No, the, the group chat with the episode come up. <laughs> if I left them off an episode, I for sure get that text. Yeah. Like, hey, bro, I didn't. I didn't they see. Everybody, they got everybody in the living room. Yeah, yeah, I, didn't watch yeah I didn't see my. I didn't see my clip on this. I was like, yeah. Right. You just. I try to let them know that you weren't really strong on this topic. Like, bro, but next week. Next just week. Just because you're going to basketball tryouts, I mean, you will make the team. <laughs> well, I mean, if I call you on set, though, I feel. If I call you all the way on set, I feel some type of duty to put you on there somehow. Even if you on there for three seconds. So you trying your best to put them on. If they was just Man, shit, you sometimes. just can't do it. Yeah, sometimes I'll be on like, FaceTime with my, my girl best, for bro. hours, bro, I and I'll be fighting. Best. Like, babe, which one sound? Is this funny? And she'll give me this look, and I'll be like, man, that's my boy. I got to mm. yeah, I gotta Man. put this little seven seconds in there real quick. But I don't so you're the editor as well? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. That's dope, bro. Yeah, that's the worst part, though. Editing is the worst <laughs> shit in the world, bro. And I'm not saying it because you in my face, bro. I think what y'all, what you got going on yeah, it's, is it's is fire, fire, bro. bro. I like, appreciate I the quality, the the questions, the the guests y'all be having, like everything be dope. I appreciate that. Who's your favorite guest y'all had? Jungle. Jungle for sure. Bro, in seven seasons. Bro. He's a different nigga. Jungle. Man, oh, he when I tell you, has he? Been, oh, he has been on the yeah, phone. Yeah. When I tell you, when I tell you, the whole room we shot at a storefront in Detroit, but it was a big space. The whole room went silent during his interview. Like everybody put their phones down. Everybody's jaws is on the ground, bro. <laughs> like, like the episode didn't come out yet, but I think it's my next episode. He basically convinced the entire room. Like it was like <laughs> my girl know what I'm about to say. He he convinced the whole room that you need to fuck your girlfriend's friends. Damn. But but not nah, the the way that he explained it was so powerful. It don't not make sense. He is the funniest nigga I ever had on my show, bro. And I'm mad as fuck. I waited seven seasons to put him on there. Yeah. It, when well, I decided I'm doing a, season a lot of people get, it's season. crazy though because somebody hit me up yesterday like, damn, you like the first like decent name to do a feature with Jungle because me and I'm got that son together. I'm like, yeah, nah, he got shit with Vez, Sada. He signed the Vez. He got shit with Vez, Sada, all type of niggas. You made, but you made I seen it before Vizzo? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, that's but hard. um, I'm, I think he might have been signed to Vezo when we did our song, but they ain't have no shit yet. Like, he had a song called Homer Simpson he did years ago, and he dropped a video, and I seen it. I'm like, man, who's this little nigga? And I just started following him from there and chopping it up with him, and we've been good ever since. Jungle, dope dude. He he he, he, a, he a good person, that show was good a, dude. Uh, a good question. He, you he just, made for this shit. You just ask him. I want to ask y'all who was our best best guest because I feel like we all on the same page. Hugh, Hugh. Yo, I seen you at the bar. Yeah, Hugh, bro. Hugh, bro. I seen you at Cheetos, bro. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh is a funny motherfucker, he made dog. Hugh, for sure. Hugh he just asked favorite. me yesterday too. He's like, "Man, what's up? Y'all still doing a pod?" I'm like, "Man, we back to it, bro." Yeah, that's he, hard. He, 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 break. he yeah. was in my top five on the call, too. Yeah, he, he, crazy, he was fucking crazy, bro. man. But he really be telling the truth. Like everybody thinks it's a joke. Like he man, really be like, feeling serious, like that. Bro. He just he, he just serious. a little fucked up in the head. He's serious, bro. <laughs> Shout out my nigga Hugh, though. Oh, my nigga Hugh, bro. Hugh is crazy, man. I share one of his videos to the, my story all the time, bro. He always says some crazy shit. Oh, that man. makes sense. Like you said about Jungle. Like, it's mm-hmm. crazy, but it makes sense. You could, you could tell he dead ass serious when he talk. That's I think that's what make it funny. He don't try. Yeah. He do not try on my sets, but he be having us rolling. That's nigga Hugh crazy. So, man, I know y'all been watching the fucking, well, I, I've been watching some of it, not all of it. How, y'all been watching the U.S. games? Basketball. I'm a little real. I've been watching a lot of. I other haven't shit. just like turned no game on and sat down and watched it, but like I go back and watch the highlights oh, and man, shit. I didn't watch every yeah. game. I be watching all type of shit. And they said that Serbia game might be the best basketball game <laughs> played. Period. They might kill. Bro, I years. watched that bitch that through and crazy. through, and it was no. scary. It was, my anxiety was crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, it was down fifteen in the third quarter, bro. What, bro? Yeah. I'm yeah. like, bro, what the <laughs> fuck, bro? No yeah. way. And Jokic's not even trying. That's what. That's what was scary. Them niggas wasn't missing nothing. It said, dog disrespect the mellow. It said, everybody turned up. Like, don't talk about my man. He didn't make the team. Like, he's done. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't saying it like that. We all know mellow the truth. Let's not do it like yeah, that. No, fact. But he ain't here, whatever. Why out of all niggas, the nigga that's sitting on the, on the bed, and he got his son next to him. He said, Cayenne throwing punches shit. Brian came and punished him. Curry punished him. Yeah. How, y- how y'all feel about Embiid, man? Solid. They said in 2028, he said he don't know if he paying for USA or... It Whatever. don't matter to me. Yeah, he be confusing. Need me. you now. 
We, we, didn't, we didn't need him. Oh, yeah. We didn't need him. Do. We didn't need him. Like, I don't yeah. think we needed him. Mm-mm. I don't. No, we didn't need him. Is that even Cameroon? We didn't need him against. Uh, Wait, the from Cameroon? Cameroon. Cameroon. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. We needed him. He came up clutch in the fourth. Yeah, he did. It was straight buckets. He got like. Yeah. Six did you see straight. him flop? Well, he, did, he did. He did a backflip. Yeah, oh, yeah, bro. You saw that? Bro, you can't be <laughs> I ain't never there, seen no oh, shit like that. Every time he hit the ground, you get scared. Yeah. They be talking about AD and B. The motherfucker. He made out of glass. Worried about. And then you see Bronny and Bryce on the sideline with the with the shorties. I think he's a two man. They had a two man. The two man going. They better than fucking Jordan. He is. Worse. You think he worse? The process. Oh yeah. The process. It's been a process for like the last eight nine years. Yeah. He, like he get hurt every year. Anthony Davis get hurt every year. He got hurt. But right? he started no, he his hurt career hurt. hurt. Yeah. He Davis started his career hurt. hurt. His career. Oh yeah. What well, uh? He he was on like track to get the MVP. Man, this nigga MVP. He couldn't miss so many games, and then he missed like twenty. Shit with his eyes. He had home, seventy, nigga. Down. I'm looking at the game. I'm like, bro. He just used everything to get that seventy, bro. I put he a parlay in no on more. him, and ain't hit shit he after that. No so do y'all feel like it was any snubs on the on the uh, USA team? No. So yeah, y'all don't uh, feel like Jalen Brown. Brown shouldn't have been no. there? Jalen Brown. No. Why is Derek White there then? No. I mean, if, who, if, won, who won the final? You know, I think about something, though. If Tatum if, ain't playing. If, 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 <laughs> right. So what you going to do with Jalen Brown? He going to be on the bench. He going to cause crazy happen. I still like, feel like. Be a silent, I'm on the I bench. feel like it's a it's respect thing. If, if you got Derek on, White mm, like you got and Tyrese Halliburton on there, on the like that. that's why they chose Tatum? Hell yeah. You think, did you, do you think that they made Tatum sit on the bench on purpose? Yeah, yeah. Like, you think they recruited him to sit him on the bench Bro, in case they, they actually need I'm him? I'm going to tell you exactly what it is, nigga. What we what we doing right now, the, the guards that's in front of you, they play more defense than you. We seeing it every day. They okay. play more defense. Yeah, okay. Dog, Derek White played more defense. Drew Holiday played more defense. And they not at the same position as Wait, you. Wait, then who? So you who coming in that? after KD and, L and Brian. You talking about Tatum? Yeah. But we got three point guards. Curry, Jaylen Brown White, and White ain't Drew Holiday. Right one. No. Ain't never and Tyrese Halliburton. We got four. Tyrese don't play. Tyrese and Tyrese exactly. Another reason why Jalen Brown should just be on the team, anyways, bro. But why is Tyrese Halliburton? At the same there? time, at the same time, dog is only what twenty six. Halliburton might be. Younger everybody got to pay their dues in the USA. Like everybody sit. This ain't the first time niggas was sitting, bro. Mm-hmm. Swear to God, bro. Jalen Brown not playing for standing with Kyrie. Point blank, period. Facts. You think so? That's facts. You think that's Kyrie the ever? Reason, bro. You think, nah, Kyrie yeah, probably got. He, Kyrie, Kyrie not, probably got another no four years. There's no room for him, bro. You can come on the 2018. Who, Kyrie? He's going to be on the 2018. That nigga's cooked. Uh, he, he got beef with Nike. Oh, uh, <coughs> oh Brian going to steal video. Imagine nigga telling you, like, <laughs> yeah, you, you, can play, you can play 2018. It's 12 niggas 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, out of 400. It's 12 niggas we picking out of 400. You want finals MVP, but you can play. We need some role players, too. Yeah. We got Brian. the finals MVP. You forgot about the ball. So the finals MVP not one of them not, twelve. Not, they're not gonna be there in four years. Final oh, MVP man. The, the no, finals no. MVP not one of them twelve, bro. That's still no, that makes sense. That's, that's no. crazy. Wow. That's how basketball works, but bro. I, you what, can't what say I the finals MVP. Andre right Iguodala was a finals MVP before, so you can't say that he won that played. series though. Jalen Brown, Jalen Brown, like was an amazing player for. Exactly. All the last season. He's one of the highest paid player, play players in the league. Bro. Okay, that's We're another one. Highest team. paid player in the team, NBA. Bro. Highest played player in the Jay world. How does Jalen Brown fit in on, on this team? Not the Celtics, bro. How does he fit on? Bro, Shit, I thought Tyler Nigga, was the player. finals Is MVP. Is fighting fitting in? <coughs> <It's>, <coughs> oh, shit. Hold on. Clearly, it's hard fitting anybody because they mad at Steve Kerr. Yeah. And it's, like, and it's like, bro, I'm going to get, I'm like, shit. I mean, he went. I, the I know Tyrese regardless. Halliburton looking crazy. He like all these niggas. He don't play no defense. Nobody give a fuck about me. He don't play no defense, bro. <laughs> he just there for the pictures. That nigga on the steps every time. It's like, an honor to be on that shit. Even like not even playing, yeah, bro. Thanks, like on some real thanks, shit, thanks, bro. Thanks, thanks. No, I gotta play, we bro. We get gold, bro. I'm playing with. Do they get paid? I heard they only get 30, like 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 35 thousand or something for a gold medal. That's chump change. Trying to get like two hundred for a gold. Two hundred k. Crazy or two hundred. What is Chinese Dollar. currency? K. So they go. They getting two hundred K. So even if it was broken down, they still probably getting like sixty K. But bro, they yeah, making thirty thousand. A lot of them making thirty thousand in one quarter. Yeah, in the league. Everybody on that team is rich as shit. So. A lot of them niggas is making thirty thousand and playing twelve <laughs> minutes. <laughs> they playing. They playing them guys for recreational. I guarantee Tatum ain't tripping. Shit, I don't know the look on his face. His mom was bro. mad. 
His mom was mad, so I think of he tripping. Of course, his mom gonna be mad. She think he the best. I ain't gonna lie I don't though. No, no, I think, I think if I ain't saying nothing, mom don't say shit. Like shut the fuck up, mom. You, know you mean? can't control that. I don't, you probably got media training. She being is, a superstar mom like, like that, so she, she just still, reflecting what he can't. But she still yeah. talked to him first. But she is agent, ain't she? No, she's not part of the staff. She is part of the staff. Oh, financial staff. She doing. She keeping it like accounting or something. I feel like she's able to show the emotions that he can't right now. You got to compose yourself. I mean, bro, you behind KD, LeBron. If I'm not playing, I'm not mad. He's playing after KD and Brown. That's what y'all got to realize. And KD coming off the bench. Two guards. And and KD coming off the bench. Two guards. (laughs) KD starting today. Yeah, he's starting today. But he been coming off the bench. If KD coming off the bench and I ain't playing, all right, cool. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm not better than KD. I'm making 300 m's, bro. Put me in the fucking game. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Our Lions, man, they played a preseason game. Wait, Looked before, a little shaky. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Before, we ain't played nobody, though. Before we get into fucking basketball, let's talk about, we let's, talking let's, about I mean, basketball. Football, football. <laughs> All right, brother, man, you got it. <laughs> we, we're not going to act like we ain't see Jordan's sons taking bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and they try to compare him to my nigga Brian. Like, his sons' accolades are way better than fucking Jordan's. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, both of them niggas. <laughs> what? Off of them niggas is mediocre hoopers. Okay. Ooh, uh, one made it to Brian's the league. Son, Jordan son. One made it to the league, one didn't. No, one you cannot coke. fucking compare Jordan's son and, and Brian's son, bro. Stop playing, bro. Are you be trolling serious, too bro? much, bro. <laughs> you be fucking trolling too much, bro. I'm tired of sick of this shit. Look, I think I think I think it's it's, it's, it's <laughs> pressure though. It's pressure <laughs> being a superstar son. Though. I think it's just a microscope. Brian was smoking nigga. weed on the internet. Remember? Yeah. Man, I'm smoking weed right it's now on this interview. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga's doing bumps at the done? at the restaurant. Hey, in public, where was at that? Was that, was that was that in Paris or something? Because all them nigga drug addicts. I was way too in the open. No, that was Man. crazy. Was like, Just casually doing it. That no, nigga I said. would hate to be in a position of where like I ain't even a superstar, <laughs> but since my dad is superstar, I'm a superstar, and I can't sit nowhere without motherfuckers like. Okay. Was he a rebel? Man, that would be shit. I don't know too much. Oh, I don't you... know too much about that nigga. Was he like a rebel growing up or some shit? No, he no, was he a hooper. Was, I know he was, he, was he was a hooper, but like, was he? That was Marcus, right? Marcus was nice. Yeah, you just can. Now nah, he done cocaine. Okay. Yeah. What did he play with UCF? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He was nice. Nigga on average like nine points. <laughs> what did Bronny average? <laughs> huh? What did Bronny average? But one year and went to the league. <laughs> Yeah, That's because he, he because back years, then he because Jordan years. don't give a fuck enough to use to say, his, his name. As, well, that's because that's because be that's political. LeBron's son. Yeah, but, but he wanted it. it. Michael Jordan this is LeBron's it, league. Bro. If LeBron retired, he like, hey man, Michael Jerry Jordan West did change the logo to me. Doing this, they changing it. They're changing that. This is LeBron's league, bro. He has a clean slate, bro. He never did nothing wrong. No allegations. No weird shit. Had a hell of a career. Never had no long injuries where he sat out a whole season. No shit like that. It's LeBron's league, bro. That's the hardest shit in the world. He signed it. I hated it, but I loved it at the same time. Jordan left twice. Yeah. To go play something else and came back and did his thing. This is LeBron league. They never had a LeBron. But mm-hmm. Jordan is still the GOAT. But I'm going to let y'all have it because y'all don't take old. A, but that don't take away from <laughs> who kids nah, are doing what. I'm going to let y'all have it because y'all old. I don't know, bro. It, I think it's just the. This nigga keep doing shit. We could go all day about that. Can years. we talk about football? Because <laughs> we, we could go all day. Uh, Marcus Jordan, do not sniff powder in public. <laughs> but, <laughs> Sincerely, the Better Late Than Never podcast. Man, listen. Bryce, <laughs> detrimental. Bryce, watch, watch them. Don't be them. Don't be them. Don't be them, bro. I see it. You're doing good, bro. Don't be them, bro. They going to hate on you, but you're doing the right thing. Him, he's sitting down doing bumps at the restaurant. You talking about Bryce or... Uh, both of them, both of them oh, doing better okay. than Marcus. And y'all see the shit that just came out about Bryce? They like they put him in the top hundred high school players, and he averaged five points. <laughs> bro, oh, the AU? is crazy. Oh, AU. I guess oh, AU, bro. Like, we, like his team is loaded. Like, you don't need to average a lot of points. You got to know, like, you got to win. Bro. Why is he in the top hundred? Why is he in the top hundred? What statistic is it though? I could go average five. Yeah, fuck with Kayan. Oh my god. Oh you my are god, shit, bro. bro. We haven't yeah, averaged yeah, anything, you bro. Stop comparing yourself god, to bro. athletes. Oh my God! Jesus Christ, bro! <sighs> Can we talk about football, please? Why? So you say he was a running back too? No, nah, he was. Nigga, no, I was not. What was your quarterback? <laughs> Everything. I remember you used to run the ball. Don't, don't, don't he was asking. Don't label me as one. I was. Ball. What school? Follow. That's crazy. That nigga pull up for ass back. Coach, can I get in the game? <laughs> <laughs> what? Pause, bro. 
Yeah, that is back is crazy. Niggas that picked your face mask last. I had the bar in the middle. Niggas, I need to know about that. <laughs> the bar in the middle. <laughs> he can't go bar. Niggas had the had the bar in the middle. <laughs> he was a lineman. <laughs> I want nobody to poke you in the eye. <laughs> 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 oh my here, god! <coughs> Look, lions though. <coughs> he wants to talk about these lions bad. Cause they're lions got a different blue on out there, bro. It's hard too, but we ain't gonna be able to match it up with shit. <coughs> no shoes. <laughs> yeah, you gotta wear some white ones. <coughs> Whites only. <laughs> Who they play today? They play somebody today, don't they? No, they play oh, yesterday. No. They, they played play two, two days ago. Or two the days Giants. Ago. Oh, I did not watch. Yeah, and the Hooker looked all right. He got hurt. He, Truck, he was right. trucking shit though. We ain't play nobody though, for real. Yeah, the we Giants suck. Plus, y'all was playing. Yeah. But it's preseason string. too. Yeah. Giants second and third string. Yeah, that 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 shit ain't shit. Mm-hmm. But uh, what's our closer. expectations, bro? Thirteen. I, Thirteen games. How far in the playoffs? I think we're going to the get ship. To the exact same spot. No, we're going to the ship. I said we. I, we're going to the ship. I, I think we Super Bowl or bust. Super Bowl or it's bus? Super Bowl yeah. or bust, but I think we get into the Super Bowl. Yeah, we're definitely. I see a conference game, but everybody else look good. We can always clip this bitch up. It's gonna be back. This is time to fly. Yeah, Conference this. game, and then they get they get cut out. And I'm uh, not a hater. I love. We I, really should have won the last season. conference game, but Man. we blew it. We did some lion shit. I was asleep. I woke up in the. Oh third my quarter. god! <laughs> oh, so you ain't missed nothing. I woke up in the third quarter, and they was. I think they was up. Or no, I think I, I they was up. Was I went to sleep. Sick. L fourteen three. Uh, I've never been sicker than that on a sports game. Oh, you talking about the uh, NFC game? Or are you talking about the preseason game? No, nah, against the uh, no, nah, against the 49ers. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I was downtown yeah. too. It turned into a ghost town after they lost. Oh yeah, I bet. Yeah. That was sick. Everybody went home. Mm-hmm. Sick. Y'all see all that bullshit going on with Michigan? Yeah, that's just them. I saw them text messages okay. and I stopped. Bro, I stopped. bro, everybody <laughs> fuck with us. Like whether it's the Lions, Michigan, the Pistons, like no, it's something fuck. about Michigan sports. No, nobody fuck with the Pistons. Nobody just fuck with the Pistons. I mean, we're the laughing stock as if. Yeah, last year. Charlie Christ. Us. <laughs> what happened with they what happened with Michigan Charlie though? being bad as bad as they talk about the Pistons being bad. We wasn't worse than Charlotte. We was worse than Charlotte last year. Worst record in was that that wasn't the worst record. We had the worst record. In record. NBA history? In, in history. <laughs> I thought <laughs> no, we had history. We had I thought the I thought worst losing streak. No, we had the best losing streak. That's the best losing streak. That's crazy. The best losing streak is the worst record. It's close to history. Yeah. They need money. Didn't yeah, but I say Super Bowl or bust. NFC Championship ain't enough for me. Oh, I can't wait. That's all I gotta get. I can't wait. No, what? Who your team? Um, I'm, I'm not the biggest to Chicago. And go I'm not Bears. the biggest football fan for real, but uh, if I had to pick a team, I'm gonna pick the I'm gonna pick the Bears just because. Bears. They ass. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They are horrible. I'm pick the Bears. Not, wait, wait. Did you see what not, they did this offseason? season? You not in the football? Yeah, they got like, uh, my brother plays Taylor Williams. Williams. But you like okay? My brother right, plays. Right, that's right, the only. So, you, right, that is so, only so right okay. you're I've supposed never, to go for them by yeah, the but I've never been. I've never well, football was never really mine because we go by the fuck. Wait a minute. Who the fuck brought football gloves? If I go by the fuck, then I'm going back to the Lions. Who the fuck brought football gloves? Uh, uh, what do you mean? They stand up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh my god! Stand up, JB. <laughs> why? Look, why, am I, why am I Willie Beeman? <laughs> why do you got the football gloves? Yeah, oh no! I, uh, sneak. Shout out, sneak. Fear no human. God. Fear no human. Damn. Fear no human. I'm supposed to be taking pictures for later. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I told her I was gonna get. Oh, so you model E today? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm you got a football too? Stand up. Let's play catch Stop up. Let's, this. Let's play five hundred. Stand up. Y'all remember five thousand? <laughs> Jackpot. Dead or alive? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hey, it's now nah, kind of crispy. My nigga sneak came up to me. She was like, "I want you to try this 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 crop." And I was like, "What? What, nigga?" And she was like, "I want you to try this top." Like, come here. So I'm like, "Bro, I ain't." I'm like, "This ain't really me." Like, I don't. She like, "I know you can pull it off." I said, "Bet." Leaving me, I I pull it off for the whole day before the podcast. I mean, before the photo shoot. You no, know, I just brought the gloves, gloves in, in here. Here. You brought the gloves. I brought, in I brought the gloves. I brought the gloves in here because I thought she was in here. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. So I thought I was gonna take pictures before. I see. Okay. Okay. But, I got you. You know what I'm saying. So if like, you stop it like Kroger, but I still I still play football and shit too though. So oh my you god, want that? And get that. You play like a like a semi pro league or something like that? No, I just like. Man, even Sunday you playing seven on seven shit. 
Seven on seven. For real? This nigga a real athlete still. Bitch, you ain't played since. You retired, bro. I just played last season. You retired. You done? <coughs> Y'all play flag, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That should be. That shit's funny as hell too, though. Tack- are you crazy? Let me go. Can't even do this that. This nigga's playing semi-pro tackle. That's older. Keith Mark's dad. I think, <laughs> I think that's crazy. I'm pro cap though. Six, six games, six, seven games. I probably had fourteen TDs. Like on some like wrecking shit. Oh, you need to do that I instead of uh, going all the way on the east side. <laughs> <laughs> would you join a Would you join a semi pro league? No, not now. I know. I, know. I, know. I, I probably. Mean, I'm probably hate it. I, I do not like that shit, bro. Just cause it's like, bro. I'm shit. I'm, I'm a husband, bro. I got a family, bro. I ain't got time to be injured, nigga, and missing work and all type of crazy shit. So you just sit on the. No more. But I have fun with the shit. If it's a little league, man, them niggas take that shit serious. Y'all playing cleats? Hell yeah, they play. Oh. Hell yeah, I'm playing cleats. No, they play Where the forces. games be at? No, they playing uh, forces, my nigga. That shit is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nigga say, <laughs> nigga say, y'all playing? Nah, it's serious, bro. <laughs> y'all playing NFL? Uh, How I sign up? <laughs> man, you gotta be in this shit. Just be around niggas. That fuck. Oh my god, yeah. niggas don't want me no, to play. Ain't no signing. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You, gotta you, wear you, nigga. you gotta wear two bands around the love handles for the strap. Do you I'm like sorry. you? Is it like <laughs> you know? Is it like a hoop run? Like, do you just hit everybody up? Like, like we doing, we doing seven on seven. It was it like it's like, a league. Before, it's a work league. Before we got in the league, a work league. Yeah, no, like, no, no, no. Before we got in the league, niggas uh meet up on some seven on seven shit, just talking shit on on the gram or shit like that. Like niggas think they good. Like pull up and it turned we into play, it. and it turned into us playing in the league. Like I got a league. Somebody like I got a league. <laughs> That's how niggas in the bird. Y'all got league. jerseys and everything. Hell yeah. Oh, this is crazy. smacking niggas. Oh, you got one of them more right now? <laughs> No, it ain't the practice drums. It's the, you know, you, you got the hoodie. Nah, it's 2024. You got the hoodie on that bitch and everything. Dog. Put a flag on a nigga hoodie. Man, it's been hot. And I'm playing with some cues. <laughs> the, the, like the college cues? Yeah. Oh, man. It's freaky out here. The college cues, you know, are different. Yeah, but, <laughs> I mean, I guess you got a point. You ever been watching, like, the debates and shit? I'm not really too big. Hell no, politics. fuck politics. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, That's there you go. Wait, ain't the debate no, the September 10th? On the bottom of my heart. Yeah. Just, just, on the bottom of my heart, heart, fuck politics. Bro. I don't fuck with that shit. I mean, at this point, whoever win, win. Like, fuck y'all. <laughs> nah, bro, you remember when you was, like, a kid and you, your, your like, political views would just be the same as your parents? Yeah. So I was with my dad the other day, and he was like, America a joke. So I was like, man, fuck it. I don't know what to think. So America a joke. I like watching that shit though. Trump yeah. be talking that shit. I missed it. Trump For four years, I missed it, bro. I missed Trump. it. You, you had a dad. That's I ain't a had no dad. You ain't talking about no <laughs> presidential nothing, nigga. You my mom's like, shit. Hey, you clip like, that. Shit. Damn. I don't think my mom ever voted, bro. Damn. Damn. My mom is from Africa. She didn't even give a fuck that about that. That shit just made me sad. My mom's from Africa. That shit just made me sad. I've never had a conversation with my pops about presidency. <laughs> Me either. Bro. Are you voting? I know my dad. Uh, Are you voting? Me? I ain't never voted. You're, she black, man. Vote. I ain't never voted. Oh, no, no, no. I, 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 I don't even get it. You about to vote for Obama. Huh? You about to vote for yeah, Obama? I ain't never voted I'm, I'm going to just vote because the other opponent is Trump, you know, but she happens that to be black. That shit is so cricket, gonna, dog. You know? That shit is so cricket, especially me getting older, bro. I'm bro, just going to just. I don't think. Y'all up here blazing. I really don't think my vote count. Like, oh God! I'm out of the convo. I'm just one nigga, bro. <laughs> I like politics. I be following them. Oh. I sit up and watch CNN all day. So, so you think you think uh, what you think about Donald Trump? Honestly, you think he like is a that country? picture real, uh, uh, baby girl? What? What picture? They're bent over the table. Probably. <laughs> no nah, hell no, nah, bro. No, no. <laughs> that that nigga's bro. bugging, bro. I know exactly what you talking Y'all about. Y'all niggas bugging, bro. <laughs> I said, that motherfucker ain't bad. Hey, hey look, bro. Look, look, bro. Hey, I made this. <laughs> it was <laughs> fat, but they, nah, that shit fake as fuck. <laughs> you gotta start somewhere. She got a little arch. She you saw the picture? Niggas ain't seen it. The shit they doing nowadays to get on, bro. My nigga fake like he got shot, bro. Did he get shot? I don't know. No, he bro. got I shot, bro. Many men. Man, man. He didn't get shot, bro. Wish he didn't fun. get shot. It yeah. had to be less than getting grazed because he not wearing no type of bed. No yeah. way he got shot, Listen, bro. bro the listen, band, bro. when he came out that next day, the band had a little splash of blood on there, bro. It was still bleeding. That nigga came out with the black power, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he hey. got shot. It was like <laughs> that's the hardest picture I ever seen. Well, in my life. But look, they put it next to it. It's a picture just like Hitler. Like they put him right next to each other. If he win, they, they gotta put that statue in front of the Listen, hood. listen, I listen, 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 listen He's the funniest. In that the world. shit so stage, bro. My personal opinion, bro. For somebody that's been shot and seen people like get shot, bro. 
when you get when if a bullet go past your ear, bro, or even like graze your shit, your shit damn near coming off. With them bullets that dog quote unquote had, like that could have. How about fuck him? The person behind him, they whole head should got blew off. Wait, they waited what, twelve hours. Shot. They waited twelve hours to say that. They waited. But, they waited. Was he seriously hurt? The person I got shot. Back? What? So many times and they see nobody. It died. It, bro, it, it was died. Died, died right? Who, yeah. Are you serious? Why don't I remember that? That's the thing. Who was there? Bro, listen. Oh, bro. shit. It's so many videos of the show. Did you know that? Oh, shit. Yeah, I ain't They just they buried that shit. Because it never happened. That's... Man, that shit, man. Man, listen. This shit was a little weird. Fight, it's like content, fight bro. Fight like bro, the timing of it was crazy, though. They got they they got video clips of him climbing on that roof three minutes before he pulled the trigger. Bro, they got everybody screaming, somebody up there, somebody up there. We talking about a, a president. They just blocked off the highway for like... 20 minutes the other day when old girl came out here. They said, I was just they her screaming her. up there, somebody up there, somebody up there. You ain't seeing no fucking sniper. A sniper not being seen, bro. You ain't seeing like, no sniper. No, no real deal sniper. And then leave seen. the video. And he ain't missing. <laughs> he ain't grazing shit. <laughs> I'm gone after this. I know I'm dying. he actually did? Man. You think he's somewhere alive? Bro, they said the person that they posted said that did it. I remember I sent it to y'all. He's like, bro, I ain't, I ain't shoot up no Donald Trump. And then they deleted everything oh, about yeah, him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They deleted everything about him. Whoa. Yeah, bro, it was crazy. I, I posted a video yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. A girl was like, I would hate to be a nigga because all niggas do is do drugs, go to jail, and <laughs> die. Damn, let's post it. It's, it's different type of niggas. Right. I mean, I but don't get all she over. got a point. She, she, got a, she, got a, she got a valid point. But them ain't like, we older. Like if I was in my early 20s, I'd be like, damn, this bitch. Hey, right. What's the original post say? Bro, she made a video. She said, I would hate to be a nigga because niggas don't do nothing but do drugs, go to jail, and die. She said, y'all niggas, she said, y'all niggas don't, she like, y'all niggas don't go get your hair done. <laughs> y'all niggas don't, she like, y'all niggas don't like golfing or archery. Y'all ain't got no hobbies. Y'all got ops. Y'all scared to go everywhere because y'all got ops. Maybe like, I'm not a nigga. Niggas be having no. fake ops. Niggas don't really be having ops. Niggas just, and then but I, I I mean if she from that environment, she what's the definition with? of ops though? She with. I, I, in my in my things, I'm just somebody that you equally don't fuck with. Y'all like, see each trying other. Y'all trying to kill each nigga, other. We ain't, we ain't. Uh, 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 I see your brother. I'm getting on him. Like it's that type of situation. People don't have those type of situations, bro. Like back in the day, like even when you watch like American Gangster and shit like that, Frank Lucas walked up on a nigga and shot him dead in his face. Yeah, I'm from Belleville. So I don't I don't have I have people I dislike. Haters, niggas that hate you, you don't fuck with them. It's like nobody needs to die, shit like that. Niggas nowadays, they got ops, they gotta wear fucking gloves and shit, and jerseys and all black and shit. They be tripping. No offense, I just feel like she probably from Chicago. Why she gotta me, be bro. from Chicago. That's where, that's where you <laughs> she, at. Shit to do with that. No, she has no, to be. Y'all do, do, no, dog. She has to dog. be from Chicago. Hey, why it ain't shit to do in Chicago except eat and shop and <laughs> shoot? <laughs> it's shit to do. It's shit, it's shit to do. Hey, bro. I'm, I'm stalling because it's... I would, no, that's, 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 what that's, 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 that's Chicago. What part of Chicago are you from? Like, I am from, from... I told you. I am from Belleville. Oh. I live in Chicago. Oh, where you live in Chicago? Highland Park. And Hi it's not the same Highland Park. It's like an hour north of Chicago. Oh, it's not like in the hood and nothing like Man, that. it's like the equivalent oh, of I told Troy. myself I was going to ride around oh, Chicago. So the area I'm riding around, I'm like, man, it's Mexican flags hanging off cars. Oh, it's, it's a lot of that. I'm like... I might be in the wrong spot of Chicago. I don't see too many niggas around here. No, they Mexican towns like a hundred square miles. It's crazy. It's just it's so many That's, Mexican people. It, it, for real, bro. Yeah. I went to Walmart. I'm like, damn, do they even speak English in this bitch? They all live along the water. You ever okay. drove through Cali and like just been through like they towns out there? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah I try to walk out there one day. I was just like, I'm so, man, I'm good in any hood. I swear to God, my soul told me to jump back in the car and just leave, and I left. Cali, the Mexicans out there, the Hispanics, as they say out there, they give off a vibe like, nigga, I know you're not from around here. I'm about to just get on your ass, pause. And I'm not with all that, that SA shit. So I fuck with the SA Yeah, Cali, you can't wear a certain hat. You can have on a uh, Milwaukee Brewers hat. Yeah, that you, means something out there. All of them. So I'm going to work. You know what I'm saying? So you got to make sure you have your hair done. Shit, this, this one of the games, these Detroit old English D hats, like, Oh, yeah. I remember they posted the Not Like Us video. They was like, Detroit was representing in there. Like, no. That nigga, <laughs> <is from, laughs> that nigga is from that gang. <laughs> that nigga is not from Detroit in that video. Yeah.
fucking with. Uh, how do you feel about that? We never even talked about like the whole video, the whole way. We talked about like when not like us first. The drive. video wasn't out yet. Well, the yeah. last time we recorded. You know what I'm saying like everything that happened since then. Like what, what you think? Like video I mean, hard. That son that started the video super hard. I ain't even heard Drake since. Bro, no, Drake just dropped a three that, song. He did. He just dropped three songs on Friday. That that song, that song, the way that beef ended, changed the way that I look at Drake. And Drake too. been out since two thousands, the early like the early two thousands. It changed the way I look at him. He wasn't ready. He ain't had nothing for it. It was crazy. How, yeah, Kendrick Lamar did him. I hate that song now because they play it every other song on the radio. But that changed everything about Drake to me. My son be like uh, freaky ass. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, dog. I think uh, it made me look at Drake different too, and I think like, bro, you never really cleared up the pedophile shit. Yeah. Like, you never once was just like said nothing about it. You just let it be what it is. Sometimes, like, gotcha, dude, bitch. That's a rap battle. Sometimes, nigga, some niggas say some wild shit, bro. I'm not finna even speak. Remember but bro, what? Drake know of a fucking and with younger girl. He speak took John the Red girl, which is Lotto little sister. So John ja was John ja was fucking her, right? Lotto little sister. Yeah. So she was grown. Still, Still, but if you already known for fucking younger Jeez. chicks, and somebody come out, my nigga said, if it's call me a pedophile. The, I gotta clear that up. My nigga said, if it's grass on the field, play ball. The pedophile is under eighteen. Nigga said, if it ain't nothing under eighteen, like what are we talking about? That's nigga true. Mm-hmm. Nigga said, too about? young, just a bitch of China. Young? But he wanted to beef off of that though. I mean, he wanted to be. Yeah, it's cool. That's probably the biggest rap beef we had. Shit though. That's, that's probably the big. The that's gonna go not down as like one of the biggest rap beef songs. Like, nigga, <coughs> they done beat whole country behind them, bro. They done beat Ross ass out there. Yeah, oh, they man. fucked in there. But <laughs> bro, it's been videos coming out of them playing not like us in Toronto, and the crowd going crazy. You go see- the beat is crazy, bro. The beat is crazy. <laughs> they rapping it. No matter it. where that beat is played, they rapping it. It don't matter, bro. Like yeah. this, it, you, it's music. We sign it. Yeah, mustard did. Mustard did go crazy. He went crazy. Did you know bro. Mustard didn't even know? He didn't Kendrick even know that Kendrick was going to use that for the for the for the disc. Oh, he didn't know. He gave the beat to Kendrick, but he had no idea that he was dropping it. What he was doing with it, because I guess the beat was purchased. So like, it didn't matter after that. And right. Mustard Mustard ended up like somebody hit him up. Like, oh shit, he ain't yeah, know what the that's how I beat up. involved in this that, yeah, because they was yeah. dropping that shit. Like a song was coming out, and then a day or two later, another song was coming out. So I guess but Mustard that's how I beat up. Like producers send out beats all the time. They don't know if the artist going to use it or not. Then, like, you know, I be writing for people, too. So, like, the artist might even record your son that you wrote for him, send it back to you so you can hear it, and still never put the song out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you just never know what they going to do with your shit when you send it out to them. I wonder if Musta got money off of that word. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. Or did he? Hell he yeah. To, he I don't know, though, because he sold he the to be beat. On some type of publishing. Like royalties? Yes. Because producers can just sell a beat outright. And then no, that's, that's 50% of the publishing is 50% artist, uh, writer, 50% music. So the Mustard, cool mustard making his back. So as long as Mustard made the whole beat by itself, he's seeing 50% of that. Oh, he eating, bro. Shit, I'll so be, be eating off of everything that came I'm out talking there, eating. Like, this might be his best check he done seen. Bigger than yeah. any song he done did with YG, anybody. Nipsey, all of them. YG catch All of them, bro. Oh, YG, shooter the booted. And uh, let's talk about some serious shit, man. Y'all heard about the uh, Sonia, Sonia Master lady? The police officer that Yeah, I be kind of looking at that shit like politics, too. Uh, how you no, no, no. Politics, this nigga. This nigga's a fucking politics? dickhead. Bro, on, on some real <laughs> Wait, shit, bro. What? The, the situation, when you watching that Did situation the video? on the video, video yeah, bro. Yeah, it's fucked up, bro. That is the scariest shit in the world. Y'all it's surprised? Like, like, you can't do nothing nowadays. This shit happened like, once, twice yeah. a year, bro. I rebuked the devil. That's I saw it. something. I saw something like, I can't, can't I, You can't, can't move forget. with the police and now, And the devil did his part. She rebuked the devil, and the devil got the up. And that's the scariest shit. devil got the That's the scariest shit. I caught Jesus Christ, Right after you say some shit like that, you Get killed, you might get canceled, bro. That's the devil word. <laughs> they said he had, bro, like, I'm not uh, saying it's okay. It's just like, bro, y'all surprised, bro. Let's be real. He said, I, mean, I, said I saw that he had the white, white, white supremacy tattoos the, on his uh, arm, and the devil had the uh, <laughs> 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 again, Corey. He had what when when they uh when they processed him and booked him and shit like that. Some of his tattoos on his forearm was classified as white supremacy tattoos. How did he keep and then y'all keep hearing all this stuff about he shouldn't even been had a police job still yeah, anywhere after prior, all his prior shit. Bro, yeah, like it's the devil's work, bro. Just like the God do his work, the devil out here working too, bro. And the devil just got the upset time. I would 
Rebuke the devil. This nigga said the devil got the ups. Bitch, play with me if you want to. And then the nigga, like, nobody was on his side on that shit. Like, when he got like, no, Bro, right, right after he shot her, the other cops, like, they what had the no, they ain't know what to do, bro. Why the fuck did you just shoot her? They, had, they ain't know what to do. You just scared she oh, they know. He said, yeah, I just set her up. I said, yeah, and she up. calling y'all for help, bro. Oh, God yeah, usually got, got the ups, bro. Too, That's all I'm saying. Yeah, God yeah, usually bro. win, bro. It's wicked. That was just some demonic shit that happened. Y'all ain't see. That was, y'all ain't that see somebody demonic. saying recipes King Von. His birthday was yesterday or today. They was like recipes King Von, the devil's strongest soldier. Yeah, I saw that. Like, bro, that shit real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that police work for the devil. She I ain't gonna say she that. She didn't now. work for the devil. I though. think. Hey man, yeah. God gonna gonna fight a lot of battles, bro. You know, we, God gonna win the war. He ain't gonna win sacrifice. every battle, bro. She had the sacrifice. That was hey, bro, I ain't saying God sacrificed him, but the I, devil just got the ups that time, bro. Man, that police so officer crazy. is the devil, bro. They about so to cook crazy. the shit out of him, though. No, they gotta cook him. I mean, like, there's nobody on his side. No, at all. Like, usually. Like people came to George Zimmerman that nigga defense. Said Nobody. That, that nigga said facts. the bitch was yeah. crazy. Yeah. Moment of silence. Killed said, "Man, that bitch was crazy." What, bro? Shot her in the head, bro. It wasn't even no in the face, too. Yeah. They Why did he get scared in the first place? It's boiling water. That's my bro. thing. It's Why did you water? get scared? I don't. I didn't see. She called y'all for help. See, I didn't see the whole. Like I don't know if it's another angle or some shit, but. To me, it didn't look like she was about to throw that water in him. No. She had it in her hand. They told her to go turn it off. He said, she went and turn it off. That's what he she set her up. He said, said, I, he said, I set her up to do it. There was no like swift movements from that side of the camera bro. or nothing. She was come holding some boiling water. Come on, One of my boys said some real shit to bro. me. He like, man, you know, everybody say fuck the police. He's like, you know, the only way we can change that is how. He said, we really become the police. And I'm saying, I'm looking at first, I thought he was joking. He was like, dead ass. He was like, bro. If niggas want shit to really change, you gonna have to get on that bitch and make shit happen. But then I also told him like, how you gonna make it past fucking the fucking training camp or the camp? You feel me? The program, no, like, they ain't gonna let I don't like, think he mean it that way. It's just like police you ever seen Batman and Dark the Dark, dark Knight Rises yeah, with Bane? Yeah, yeah. You remember how they locked all the police yeah, in and yeah. Bane and them became the enforcers? Yeah. I think he mean it in that type of way rather than people actually going to police academy. And I think yeah, they mean yeah, like we know. start policing shit around this motherfucker. I don't know if I completely agree with that. I mean, we talking about the legal way because niggas ain't got the, niggas. You know, niggas ain't even police. ready to go to war. No, we're group. We yeah. grow, we've grown. We've grown up. You niggas can ain't even you can be war around this bitch, bro. you could be from Westland, Belleville, and Arbor, Rochester Hills. If you black, you were raised to not like the police. And once you go that, cop, what are you gonna blue. do to the police? You ain't though? no black. You blue. Yeah. Who's gonna just grow up? Most black. Kids ain't what, growing up like I'm about to be a police officer. I don't know somebody I grew up with since third grade. Is a man, state my trooper. son just said, and look, she, man, it's man, like you said that shit when you younger. Like I my was son just said that dumb when shit. You, when you really, said, bro, when you really see stuff. people that you Wait actually know. Cop. Okay, go ahead, Corey. When you actually see people that you that you grew up with and you know, and they become cops and stuff like that, you start having them conversations with them. Like you said, be like become the police is a very possible thing. If you got level headed people that that all got that same mindset, yeah. making their way into the force, yeah. who've grown up to be police officers. But what you just said when you said your son said that? Fuck out of here. <laughs> That's what most of us here as children. Trust me, we I, say I, some I never shit say like no that. Shit like that. <laughs> but you're not joining that cult. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. My so, mom said about so, any group of people. So though. for us to just <laughs> be like, us oh, we just gonna become the police. <laughs> it's kind of unheard of, bro. That's. And possible in a way. So who? And most of us catch cases before we even get the chance to. So you can't be the police. Figure anymore. it out. So so fuck them, right? This nigga's crazy. Hey, he had a good ass topic, bro. Which one? Why do black people celebrate so much? <laughs> celebrate nothing, like getting drunk every weekend. <laughs> and I ain't gonna cap. I've been there. So I, I've like, been there, bro. I, I, I understand, when y'all were it, young, like shit, yeah, hell shit, yeah. Shit, I work yeah, Monday shit. through Friday. I'm gonna yeah, get drunk all weekend, bro. My nigga used to you celebrate. You post the fucking work. My nigga used to celebrate. What are you celebrating? But it do be like a relief, like shit. I didn't work, nigga. No facts. Hundred hours this week, bro. I'm finna let my hair down. But my, that's what you. you know I'm saying that's that, your nigga, life. You said that about forty hours the other day. <laughs> like I had to let my hair down. I worked forty hours. What? Hey, so nah, look, right? I ain't working no forty hours, nigga. Look, right? I, don't I think get, I don't even get forty hours, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? I think some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Like I be uh, getting deep when <laughs> it comes. To, I be getting deep when it comes to shit like this because I think it go back to like slavery and stuff like that. Because you know you've been working. No, hear me out. You've been working in the field however many days straight. Massacre, you a day off. 
shit, you you back you back at the slave house. Y'all having a good little time, kicking it with each other and shit like that. I think stuff like that just get passed down. It's just the way that yeah, we do it is different. Uh, I didn't, yeah, shit, I, I say all four of us. You know, we you we, we, we all work for Walmart. Younger, we work you Monday through Friday, bust yeah. my motherfucking ass, bro. Yeah. On, on Saturday, shit, we. But yeah, listen, from West Africa, so I'm not really. As far as, really as, far as everybody in this room, because you didn't get dropped off of your people's crib, nigga, they went out and had did their little thing. You just. Learn that shit. It's like happy. But as far as everybody in this though. room, and that's what I was about to say. As far as everybody in this room, if we decide we want to get drunk every weekend, cool, because we're doing we got to do out all fucking week. It's motherfuckers who ain't doing shit. Nothing celebrating. Nothing. Beating us to the bar. Yeah. And, and ain't got no money on them. With the, and in there, like with the Luna Zool going crazy. Cause they know Luna they were niggas who work. <laughs> 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 shit, they ain't gonna leave me dry. Yeah. Shit crazy, bro. Like niggas really go out with no money, bro. Like grown, it's hell. But what? Oh, yeah. But but, but back no to money. the question: Why do you think we do that? As like celebrate why do you think everything? nothing, celebrate, celebrate nothing. nothing. Like what? Like, like some type of stress. Think about it. I don't know. You get away for question. a good two hours. It's kind of like a drug. I'm you about to say, is it an addiction? Wait, wait, you talking about that's different. What you're saying? So kicking it and. Just kicking it with the homies. That's what you saying. We talking about like niggas no, going to the club. Going out. That's not who going out for two hours. Two, three hours? I, I, ain't no nigga. You, ain't then, nobody getting there before You talking 10? about like. like 12? No, I'm talking about club. Like going to the club. Service, niggas, niggas do that shit a lot. Ain't nobody getting there before 12, though. Nigga, you already pregame. You done spent, what, buying fits? All that. You done spent them that thousand. Bro, these niggas ain't spending no money. They just going no. out. Oh, yeah. You're right. That's crazy. I guess celebrating to be broke. Celebrating to have nothing. It's getting away from life. For trying real. to get, trying to get some type of gratification. I think that's what it really is. Responsibilities. It's escaping yeah. responsibilities in life, bro. I think like, that's man. what it really is. What, fun celebrating trumps, everything. Fun trumps yeah. everything. You got to think from kids to adults. Fun trumps everything. For for weak. That, you can't compare it as a kid because nigga, my I mean, mind is weak minded people, people, baby. I, I gonna, think I'm not gonna I say think. for weak minded people, strong minded people don't go through that. I'm my chick used to ask me, I, I still see why I can't get up to church. Like, you, like huh? you ain't gotta be weak minded. I used to make excuses and not go to church because if I knew I was getting drunk time, Saturday night. Or just like what, what you saying? As far as like you ain't gotta be, you ain't gotta be. It, it ain't all the weak minded people. It's like it's a it's weak minded, and then it's strong minded over here, and then it's a big ass gap. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? The, the mismatch, yeah. I think, I think to answer the original question, though, I think black people celebrate. I hate that. that that the, the question is black people because it's like, oh, people really do this, but we just seek a bunch of gratification that life isn't giving us. That's just right? who we be around. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, shit, bro, if I work on the computer for three days straight and I done bust out 12 hour sessions on that fourth day, I'm gonna celebrate. I'm gonna get the gratification that I'm not getting out of life. So I'm gonna right, go right, celebrate. Right, and I think right, people do that right. for big shit and little shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I just got a new car. All right, I'm gonna go out tonight. Celebrate right. what? You know what I'm saying? You The, the gratification should be the car, but. People do that in general. I hate that there's black people because I've seen every race of people do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not really celebrating yeah. nothing. You're just seeking something you're not getting out of life. You're trying to fill it Seeking attention from other people. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I do it. Everybody around me. I've seen, you know, everybody does that in some way, shape, or form. Mm-hmm. Just black people happens to always come back to the fucking club and bottle service and being flashy and buying shit. And you know what I'm saying? Posting Standing shit. on the couches. Man. No, I had to have that talk with myself though. I'm yeah. like, dog, why am I getting drunk every Friday and every Saturday? Yeah. We said we came back from Vegas. No, I said that before then. Remember I stopped drinking before then and I started back for the Sada show. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> and then I kinda you know, drank a little bit. I went to Vegas. Went, down my went crazy. Off. And since I've been back from Vegas, it's just been like, I don't want no liquor. I'm good. I don't want to drink. Why do I want to be drunk? Drinking drink? No. After this I'm going. <laughs> what you about to do? I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go help write for an artist. I'm about to go east. Uh, okay, you deep working. Then I'm going home. Yeah, yeah, I stayed home not, last I, I, night. I guarantee people. He's not going home tonight, man. He's going to work. He's not going home. <laughs> He's not, bro. I'll be surprised, bro, if you do. If you like hit us in the morning, like, yeah, I went to the crib. He's gonna go live. Your daughter ain't here. Like you can't go use that as excuse. Can't go chill with your daughter. <laughs> how was you, Vegas, actually? You're going to be lonely. Go, go how was bottom. it? Yeah, how was Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> the time of my life. Can I ask you a question? How much did you actually lose that day? A couple of bands. Two, like two racks. Two racks. Yeah. You that was hurt. my first night there, though, so it kind of fucked suck. me up. Bro, you I, suck. Bro, you posted like You suck. Stories. Yeah, I fucked up. You, like you suck. About <laughs> <laughs> hey, I only gambled because of East Story when he went. He was like, yeah, nigga, I hit like 1,200 on my last day. Nigga, I'm about to go back. 
Nigga, I hit for twelve hundred. Nigga, I came back cool. I'm like, all right, bet. I went out there. Hold on, hold on. What was your what was your blackjack plan, and though? craps? Yeah, no, no, no. I lost most of it on blackjack. Craps was like, all right, I'm gonna win some of it back. Cause I really lost more than two racks. I won some of my money back shooting craps. So. I was like, yeah, let me go. It's about seven in the morning at this point. I'm like, nah, let me go to bed, bro. And the other night, nigga, I shot the, <laughs> I shot the casino. I, bro, I ain't like, sleep, bro. I said, eat, bro. I got a, I got an itch, bro. I'm about to shoot down there. I'm about to fuck these niggas up, and I'm coming right back. He like, all right. I'm like, I swear to God, I'm, like, I'm about to fuck them up. Nigga, I'm about to pull up with a shitload of money, my nigga, before you go to work. Nigga, long story short, nigga, I went in there. This nigga was already, he didn't even leave his crib. I'm already pulling back in. Like, let me just grab my son and just go home. Mind you, he said his palms was itchy. Oh, man. man that shit hands. don't mean shit. Nah, no, sir. <laughs> nigga, I think I ain't washed my, wash my hands. <laughs> 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 He's a lot of shit. 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 He's God damn it. Nigga, I looked at my shoe when I was driving. I ain't no like, money, them germs. I What's next? Fucked up by the FanDuel casino, but I don't even. See, I don't do the casino on FanDuel. I, I just God. do strictly sports book. I thank God we don't have it in Illinois. Bro. Oh Illinois y'all Illinois. don't? Because look, bro, when I get like yeah, if I'm dry, if I drive back to Michigan ass. or I fly, when I when I motherfucking land, bro, when I come back come back home or I hit that Michigan border, bro. Yeah, I love that quick, FanDuel yeah. casino, bro. Drop a fifty ball on it. But you'll never be like calling nobody home, like, hey, bro, put this bet in, or like on games and shit, like put this bet. No, in. No, I can I can sports bet. So look, I had an itch. I had an itch one day. One day, I FaceTime her girl. I was like, screen share. Hey, go to FanDuel. Uh, Apple Pay her $25. I was like, hey, go to Baccarat. I need you to do this. I lost that $25 in a matter of like two, three minutes. And I was like, and it was just $25. I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that ever again. Because yeah. what's going to happen next time, I'm going to send my homegirl $200. And I'm going to say, hey, just do me this favor right quick. And I'm going to just keep losing it. So I only play it when I'm here. That's it. No. I don't think it's a problem yet. I, but I don't it, it know. Will. Like, I hate hoop season because it's literally a game every night in games. I'm so, so happy. I'm happy night. there's no sports going on where I don't hear y'all niggas complaining about y'all bets y'all mentioned. <laughs> like, it's a breath of fresh air on my mama. Yeah, I'm at 100. I'm oh, my. Yeah, this nigga showed me oh, his shit. He like, like 100,000 in betting, bro. I'm like, ass. Oh, no. Nah, <laughs> like, like, no, that I'm nigga is ass, ass, bro. Everybody ass when they miss your shit. No, bro. I don't, I don't get bro. mad at players, bro. I think that's a I do. No, no, I do. I give me the players. Man, one of the players, bro. Fuck yeah. Y'all get a comment saying, hell yeah. yeah. (laughs) Fuck yeah. I be mad, bro. It be the lightest shit. Like, Tatum, you get eight rebounds a night. I put you for four, and you get two. Come on, my nigga. The night went, huh? I be sick, though. I be sick. That shit fucked up. I was politicking with somebody that won, uh, was it 19,000 off a fucking $5 free bet, bro? I. That shit, how I be you thinking that shit. I, I that built shit, that side, you, bro. That shit, I how you built that side. Weird, bro. Like, like, how you I thinking like, weird, bro? <laughs> like, when he showed it to me, but he broke it down, though. He's like, bro, I looked up every single thing that they do versus this team. Like, I took the time and really did it, and I hit them. Bro, you could do that. It don't matter. Yeah, I was about to Niggas just don't fuck up, bro. It don't matter, bro. I done did that a well, million it times. Worked, it worked matter. for him. It worked bro, for I done woke up 7 in the morning with a Red Bull and say, okay, from 7 to 9, I'm going to create this parlay. And that bitch is still missed. Two hour parlay. What would y'all do? Yes, yes, bro. I swear. I swear so listen. So what? So you are. I don't like you doing that right? early. So say if you had a fan in your name and she and she your homegirl was doing it for you, and you out of town, you went like five hundred thousand. But she, she can't grab the bread. You got to grab the bread. You come and then they see that you wasn't the one that like you didn't do that. What would you do? Kill myself, bro. Um, you said I can't get to five hundred thousand because, because you have an Illinois. You gonna have an Illinois ID. You ain't got a Michigan ID, or you ain't got an ID because that's how it went oh, with dogs. Said they ain't had a. Uh, the, the, he had a. Uh, you had the ID. Yo, you had a VPN. Oh, yeah, that's VPN. why you give it to somebody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he used yeah. the VPN yeah. and won, won five hundred thousand, yeah, and he couldn't get the money. It's almost like they let him win because they knew he was gonna be able to get his cheese, bro. <laughs> hey, they back in the back. That's how I be thinking, bro. Man, like, send it through. Gotcha, man. Send it through. It's this cool. is what fucked up though. <laughs> Say you had your girl do that for you, right? Cool. Your girl gonna go get that money for you. She gotta pay the taxes on that bread. Oh, if it's in her name with the fender. Pay them. Pay them. You gotta give her the money to do it. Here, I'm saying, saying shit. If I'm hitting for some serious ass money, baby. Your girl pay that. different. Your girl different. I say a friend. Say a friend. A friend? I got some retarded fucking friends, bro. Um, so you don't even got to tell them. Yeah, like, no. Oh, my God. You I probably just be like, smart. you win 50000 You like, all right, bro, I'm going to give you 2500 To pay the taxes. And, and when, you got to give them something for their pocket. When tax season roll back around, you still going to be like, hey, bro, what are we going to do? Because they done blew that money. They done blew that shit, bro. I said, I don't know. I, I would, uh, 
<laughs> if I so you saying if my friend hit, what would with your money that your bet you put in? I would call an accountant and just have them calculate it for me and send it. Do to it me. right then and, and there. Give me my fucking money, and I, you know, if I want fifty thousand, I will give you five thousand. If you just give me my fucking money, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yo, I'm gonna say my, I'm gonna say my last. But how y'all feel about women going to family pool parks? And wearing thong bikinis or shit, damn near nothing. All right, bro. I'm a single. I'm a single I, father. When you brought it up before the show, bro, I was about to tell a story, bro. <laughs> I'm in Vegas <laughs> at the food court, and this man, she had to been cash doll big little sister. Okay, <laughs> can't call her little because I'm talking about a horse. <laughs> this bitch is a horse stallion. Okay, bro, she has on a bathing suit. No cover on, nothing. But it's that hot in Vegas, so it's like, right. this might be what people do. But I'm still sitting there like, there's kids in here, bro. That's a gonna, lot of body for these kids. You ain't going to get no warmer that. skin to, to sun. That's that's true. <laughs> but And then we was on the food court like, they might have been staying at MGM because it's right there by MGM. But first I seen her, and I'm like, bro, that's crazy. She just out here mm-hmm. cheeks out. <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm about to lose it. I know a little nigga in here about to lose it. Lose it. <laughs> <laughs> no. But realistically, you thing. think Vegas, you think Vegas is really for kids? I'm about to say. Bro, my daughter lives there. Yeah. Like, so my daughter can't take my baby mama can't take my daughter and get the casino. Eat? At the casino? It wasn't they at the casino. It was oh. by MGM. It was the food court. Oh. Okay, do people that live in Vegas actually be in the casino? And be kids part of Vegas? all in the casinos and everything, bro, because uh, that's Vegas. most of the whole thing. Michigan, nigga. Got casinos Michigan. in them. Michigan, so at Metro Park. Fucking Metro. Metro Park. Metro Metro Park. Park. Uh, so you see kids all the time. Damn near every hotel kids got a casino up, uh, uh, in it. I ain't never so you see seen kids in the lobby all the time. The whole I see it like the pools, casino. like the regular pools. I ain't never really seen them like. I mean, the kids don't just be in the casino part, but. If they walking through, you like the hotel I stayed in, you had to yeah. walk to the other side of the hotel yeah. to, where you catch your Ubers and shit at. Yeah. So you seeing yeah. kids all the time. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Shit. I, I seen kids all through my, my casino. Son, I'm asking, like, you see it? You see that? I was just about to say, shit. Mom, you see that? That's a test. That's a test. I I, I can appreciate it. For myself though, as a young as a young dog, like I was already so managed. It's like shit. The thoughts I'm getting is crazy. From an older chick coming in, it's all ass out. It's like yeah. shit. Like I, I don't think they know how like really men think, Man, even mind. boys. Yeah. So like I'm nigga. This is as a young nigga. I didn't fucked you six times already in my mind. You know what I'm saying? It's six fucked six up is that crazy. You, you feel like you feel like you feel like you feel like you just showing your this nigga imagine six nuts. Man, your, that's little, crazy, your, your, your new your new BBL. Imagine that nigga was in jail. He probably was going crazy. I don't, I don't, but to speak on like parks and shit, what your question was, bro, I don't think, do this park got a pool, first of all. Pool. They should have a dress yeah, code, though. But they should have like with a little a cover up code. things, like what, girl, what ladies be wearing at the pool or when they get to the pool, them little cover up things that look like, kind of like. If it's an apartment pool, rooms. they can wear with them, nigga, we all live here. We all pay right here, bro. Like, but if it's like rolling hills and Even shit like that. Even an apartment pool, bro, it's kind of like. You trying to get cool, right? You got to come up here. I don't really see nothing wrong with it. I think it's a part of life. I was going to say, I I think, think, you know. But if y'all seen that girl in Vegas, bro. I don't know why. I think you should be able to, I think you should be able to wear what you want. You know what I'm saying? At the park or wherever, because that's her body. You know what I'm saying? I like, just, not with, not like, or if it's a dress code, if it's that much of an issue to wear it at, like, it's going to be a lot of kids here, it should be a dress code. The owners of the property and all that shit should have, like, dress codes or a certain time, shit like that. Like, or just, just know your kids. Titties out after nine. Why do they feel comfortable wearing you? that around a bunch of kids? Man, bro. I want to look at I don't think so they, I don't have kids, bro, but if I had a son at the time, I feel like this is the perfect opportunity. You this got is a daughter. The test. This Fuck is that. the test, a daughter. Did he look? You got a daughter. You got a daughter, bro. And then she said she wanted to dress like that. And she said she wanted to dress like that. Yeah. What you gonna do there? Nah, nah, that'd be another nah, thing. I gotta bro. shoot the pool up, and I don't want to do that. Like, I would get pissed. I had, I had to cuss my daughter standard. out this morning because my baby mama called me. She like, she mad because she think my daughter going to seventh grade. I'm old. Um, she like, she mad at me because I told her no, she can't go get her nose pierced. I said, man, who the fuck you think you is? Nah, Hell no, nah, you not getting that, your bro. fucking nose we're pierced. Not doing that, bro. You talking about TikTok got you all fucked 16, up? Bro. Yeah. 
Like, at least show me you about to graduate high school before <laughs> you going to the seventh grade. Show me another 12 year old with Bro. a nose piercing. So you're, you're, so you're offering a high school diploma in exchange for a nose piercing? No, I'm just saying. Oh, that's what, it's, that's what I No, see. not at all. That's what, that's I really don't want her to do it at all. But when she get older, if that's something she want to do, she cool. She ain't got to ask by the end. But it was just like, bro, you mad at your mama for telling you no to something I'm about to definitely tell you no to. Like, why do you even think you about to do that at all? I just feel so like you ain't even responsible enough. That bitch about to get infected. To your, you know to your point, though. To your point, though, because I had to sit here and think about that shit. Uh, okay, so, yeah, I would love for my son to... You know, I want to see him looking at shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But with the girl, with the little girl, she's looking at it like, okay, I want to dress like that too. Okay, guys don't have that because we ain't got titties and ass. Well, we shouldn't. So I think guys can still look at other guys and be like, I want that. I want to do that. I want to I want to smoke weed. I want to shoot guns. I want to do what these guys is over here doing. But you got to look at them and be like, they're grown. They can do what they want. Them women are grown and they can do what they want. If you got well-disciplined children over here, I mean, it don't matter what that woman walking by wearing as long as she ain't butt-ass naked because that's just illegal. But she could walk by wearing what she wants. It's not her fault her body shaped like that unless she bought it, but that's still her body. She can wear what she want. I feel like... Niggas it. walk around with dick friends. You want... Uh, you want no, we don't. You know what I'm saying? How? We, if we like, get... That's what I was about to say, bro. That's what I was just about to say. If I'm at that bitch, dick print all out, heavy. What the fuck is motherfucking... Like, like... Bro, put that motherfucker up, bro. What you on? Like, what you, this nigga a pedophile. We gonna get the worst <laughs> treatment in the put world, bro. We gonna get the worst treatment in the world, bro. We got a fucking studio. Nigga, nigga, for the kids. He's a freak, yeah, bro. Put that motherfucker up. It's crazy. Hey, bro. That nigga in that motherfucker heavy, bro. And, and it's, it's cool. It's cool. Yo, whoa, 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 bro. Hey, bro, Corey, so what's next for the call, bro? What you got going on next, bro? Whoa. That motherfucker is all heavy. It's crazy. Yeah, that's just crazy, bro. What's next? You got carried away. You got a little emotional and just. I am the nigga. No. I'm saying a nigga in there. I'm talking about me, nigga. I ain't talking about no other nigga. Fuck. I mean, that bitch heavy. <laughs> Y'all tell me to go put a towel on. We ain't telling you the, the hoes to put a towel on. Oh my god, bro! Oh my god! Hey, hey bro! Y'all niggas is so funny, bro! <laughs> oh my god, bro! That nigga <laughs> walking in with speedos. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! So what's next for the code, bro? For this man, get out of hand again. Our dishes is win, bro. You said what? Our dishes is win. Uh, August the twenty fifth. I'm ironing out the details right now, so I can make a video about it. Okay. Uh, even this weekend or beginning of next week, because uh, that's coming up quick. Yeah. But uh, I got an audition, so I'm just not stuck with a bunch of, like, dummy interviews. You no, know facts. Man? So this upcoming season is eight. It's season eight. So hopefully this whole set of episodes is better than the ones before that. Because I really got to sit down and figure out who I actually want. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, who's going to represent the brand the right way and not embarrass me in front of everybody when you're just sitting here with stage fright? <laughs> Facts. That's next. I'm gonna just do another season. Um, Congratulations on your yeah, award. I appreciate that. Give me my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and hey, man, we ain't gonna take this long break like we did again, man. We apologize, man. It's been a better late than never. It's because of these niggas. <laughs> it's been a letter, better late than never podcast. I'm Polo Frost. I'm chilling, Corey. Was I supposed to say my name? Easy. We oh. in the PBL this weekend, bro. Final four. Going to the championship next week, bro. We got to get this dub this weekend. Pop out. Yeah, we're going to be up there tomorrow. It's your boy, Mo Harlem. Me and E going to be up there sitting up there watching them niggas win the game. Oh, my God. He burnt out. Hey, we see y'all next week. We miss y'all. We back.